Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my second update for my Pan That Palette for 2020, the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. If you missed my intro to this project, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. I can't believe, like, it's, like, March. <laughs> I am already shocked. February went by like that, and I don't know, January felt like it lasted for a year, and so it, here we are. It's weird. I didn't make as much progress. I got very close to hitting pan again on a different shade, but I didn't quite make it. But let's go ahead and run the slideshow of what my palette looked like before now. And this is what my palette looks like now. I was so, so, so close to hitting pan on this shade, which is Tongue Pop. I am like so close to hitting pan. I honestly think the next time I use it, I'm gonna hit pan. I really wanted to, I just didn't quite make it. Uh, I also repressed the white shade. I did hit pan in this before, but I repressed it so I could use it a little bit better. And I have to like say, A, this packaging stains. If you get wet shadow, <laughs> on the packaging forget it like it's it's stained it's gonna stay there second there is a huge difference in the quality and like the consistency of the shadow once i repressed it so i don't think i'm going to be repressing anything in this palette unless i'm going to specifically be using it in my brows if i'm going to be using it for blending if i'm going to be using it for setting or anything i am not going to repress it because i don't think it's just it's a it's a lot different it's very different and not in a good way. So hopefully I can finish up this white shade, but it is, the consistency is just so much different now. Other than that, I've actually been working quite a bit on this shade right here as well as, as well as this deep brown shade right here. My everyday look uses a lot of shadows from this top row, which I actually did film for this video. So you'll see that a little bit later. I've been using this brown a lot, this brown a lot. Um, whenever I use a red, I've been going for this shade. It's actually really, really pretty. And I'm, I'm still trying to find a way to make the shimmers work for me. The shimmers are definitely not my favorite formula, but I, <laughs> I found one way that makes them look decent, but it's a lot of work. So for the shimmers, specifically Candy Floss and Sweet Inner, these two like lighter shimmers over here. I saw a tutorial. I've been looking up a lot of tutorials just to like get ideas for different looks and what I can do with this palette. And one tutorial which turned out nice. It was just a lot of work to make this shimmer look decent. It was basically, you have to do a cut crease with a white concealer, use a glitter glue, put the, put the shimmer on top of that, and then make sure it's totally set. And then it looks decent. That's just a little too much work for me to do on an everyday basis for a shimmer when I have plenty of shimmers that I can literally just apply with a finger and like you're good to go. So uh, still working on that, but yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with my progress. I, I really wish I could have hit pan on uh, the Tongue Pop shade. Honestly, I think I'm going to hit pan on that like in the next week. It's it's there. It's like there's such a huge dip in it. Uh, so I think I'll hit pan on that next. And then after that, I think one of these shades. Because this neutral row I've been using for like my everyday work look that I'm wearing like today with just... Instead of using one of the shimmers in here, I've been using a liquid shimmer from uh, CoverGirl. And I love... They're a really good dupe for the Stila, so I am going to do a video eventually on uh, dupes for like the Stila glitter and glows. There's a few from e.l.f., a few from CoverGirl. My favorite is the CoverGirl right now. Is it CoverGirl or is it Maybelline? Let me... Did I just misspeak? No, I was right. They're CoverGirl. <laughs> and you'll see that in the look that I did. So for this update, I only had time to film one look, so I decided to film my most go-to everyday look that I'm wearing right now. And for the next update, I'll see if I have time. I can do a couple more looks and do like some more bright looks, some more red looks. But I really just wanted to show you what I've been reaching for almost every day, except for when I'm playing with like a new palette. This is the everyday look that I'm wearing to work. I'm wearing out. I'm wearing about. You can deepen it up a little bit if you use just a little bit more of like the deepest brown shade, make it really smoky, very pretty. So let's just jump straight into how I got this look. Every hero 
on your neck, don't stand up, did I do it right? And if my phone don't buzz when the morning comes, did you spend the night? But I'm alright, I'm alright, still might try, still might try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? That song I love don't speak to you like it does to me And if I'm not insane, then I'll say goodbye so carefully Cause I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try What if you, what if I spend the night one more time Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? And if the words that we say climb up all the way, can we keep them there? And if it's too far to fall, then there's nothing at all, I'm too crazy to care. It's not right, it's not right, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. I think I'll give it a try, give it a try. Cause I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Tip of my tongue, I'm scared out my mind cause you're touching my arm On the tip of your tongue, I wonder if you got ideas of love On the tip of my tongue, I'm looking at you I'm like why the hell not On the tip of your tongue, I swear it's okay if you wanna just talk Well I was on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try Cause I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. I think I'll give it a try, give it a try. Cause I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind. So that's how I got this look, my kind of go-to look a lot recently. Let me know down below if you have this palette, if you like this look, any other kind of more neutrally looks that you're really playing with, interested in. I really want to, in this next month, play a lot more of this weird kind of gray color and see what I can do with it. That's kind of my goal. I don't want to set a pan goal because I never hit those, <laughs> like ever, but I really do think I'm going to hit pan on Tongue Pop very soon. So that's it. We still have just two pans and I, I don't want to math the rest of them to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll throw the playlist for this entire uh, Pan That Palette series up in the cards. I also have two completed Pan That Palettes. I panned a Marc Jacobs palette in 2018 and I panned the entirety of Subculture from ABH in 2019. So make sure you check those out if you want to binge watch through an entire Pan That Palette playlist. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I don't like this lipstick.